Yeah, absolutely. That's that's how they do it. The tsunami warning centers are watching the evidence of the actual arrival of a tsunami in some of these different locations along the Aleutian Islands, in Hawaii, and so on, and at the at the dart buoys that are in the ocean. And they'll update their warnings and watches with new information as the tsunami literally travels across the Pacific Ocean. Uh, it takes a number of hours, as you can see. And so what we uh, what what we should watch for is new alerts, uh, new updates to those alerts issued by. By the tsunami warning center. Uh, I'm curious, how surprising is it to see a tsunami watch issued for the entire West Coast? And what are you anticipating in the hours ahead? Yeah, it's, um, I mean, it's unusual in the sense that this doesn't happen very often, fortunately, um, but it's, it doesn't surprise me at all for the size of the earthquake. 8.7 is a very, very large earthquake. Um, and as I said, it's probably going to be one of the 10 largest that have been recorded, you know, since seismometers were invented more than 100 years ago. So um, that's the reason why the warnings are out. That's the reason why people should take them seriously. Again, I'm cautiously optimistic that this will not produce a damaging event along our coastline, um, but that is certainly far from guaranteed and people should pay attention to what the information is. Harold Tobin, we so appreciate you, Director of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. I know you're gonna be watching this very closely and we'll probably talk with you throughout the evening. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you.